Hello guys and guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how you can combine your edited audio with your video, and it's going to go in conjunction with the tutorial I made last week, last Saturday for uh, Tutorial Saturday. Um, it's going to go in conjunction with that, so if you haven't watched um, last, last week's tutorial, which was how to audio edit your um, audio commentary for your videos, Make sure you go watch that so you're not out of the loop in this video, and so you know what's going on. So, pretty much what we're going to be doing today is we're going to get our video, we're going to we're gonna import it into our editing program, and we're just going to replace the bad audio that's embedded inside the video with the good audio that we have edited in Audacity. So it's going to be pretty simple. All I have to do is extract the audio streams and edit it like we did in um in my audio editing tutorial so there's not much different going on there so i'm just not gonna talk too much about it i'm just gonna do my duty here and i'll see you guys when this is done extracting all right guys so after your audio finishes extracting from the video um we're gonna go to which one are, is our voice and you can do that by simply double clicking it and previewing it all right, so now that you know which one's your voice, um, you can go edit it, open with Audacity. Um, this is going to be the standard thing I went over in um, my How to Audio Edit tutorial, so if you haven't watched that yet again, make sure you do that so you're not questioning what in the world I'm doing. So, yeah. So I'm just going to apply my chain here that we made in the previous tutorial, and that should go fairly quickly, and I'm just going to talk about what we're going to do here. Um, so basically when this finishes, uh, I'm just gonna do everything I did in the audio editing tutorial, and then I'm gonna open up my video editing program, which is Sony Vegas, that's what I use. Um, it should be the exact same for Windows Movie Maker, but if you have any problems with that, leave a, um, leave a comment below, and I will, um, definitely help you out there. Um, so, so yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna be happening. There you go. Alright. So I'm going to export this and then I'm going to take it into uh, Sony Vegas. Okay. So now that we've exported it, um, you'll still be have the old original one before we made the changes and fixes to the audio. This is the, this is the new and improved edited voice file. Alright guys, we're back to more Griff Ball. We're joined by Dead Money. Alright, so there you go. So now what we're going to do is open up our video editing program. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro, should be standard with any other um, video editing program uh, that you have. It should be the same process, maybe not the same keystrokes or anything like that, but yeah. Alright, so if you're not using Sony Vegas, um, you're going to have to use your brain a little bit, figure out how you're going to do it. But this should be like the standard process for pretty much every video editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in, uh, yep, and as you can see, it already put in our stuff. So this is the this is the stuff that came with the video, this audio, and as you see, it, it needs to be, it, this is the unfixed version. So this file right here, the one that we edited, that's the, that's the fixed stuff that we went over in the previous tutorial. So to put that in with our video and then render it out to YouTube, we're going to have to unlink these. See, if I just try to get rid of it right now, it'll delete all of it because it's what we call linked to these other two elements right here. So, to do that, uh, we need to right click and go to group and remove from. You can also hit U if you're using Sony Vegas. So, I'm just going to hit U on these. Make sure you do it on all of them. Um, can't guarantee it's the same process for any other video editor, but it's pretty standard and I feel like it should be. So, now we can go delete that one and put in our edited stuff so there you go that is our fixed audio and now pretty much what we can do is add just a fade in maybe a little simple fade out and there you go we have added our fixed audio to our video and now let me just disable resample here because um you always want to do that with every single video if you're doing gaming videos in sony vegas and um yeah i can now render it out and we're good to go so that's pretty much the process I go through uh, to 
add my fixed audio to my videos and um, pretty much the only thing I do different is just add my intro in front. Now as you notice, if I try to move it now, it'll get out of sync and the, the audio right here turns red because it's like, oh no, it's out of sync. Um, so to fix that, you just gotta group everything back together like it was before, make sure everything is selected here. Uh, I'm holding control and clicking on each one to select each one. And then uh, you can either go here to right click, group, create new. And that works fine. Or you could also hit G on your keyboard. So pretty standard process. And now you don't have to worry about them getting out of sync. Alright, so there you go. That's pretty much a simple tutorial for you guys. Um, hopefully this helped you out a lot. I know there was a lot of questions saying how in the world do we actually use this edited audio in the previous tutorial. Um, so I'm just here to help you guys out. And now, like I said before, you can just go here and render it out. So, there you go. Once you have it rendered, you can upload to YouTube. Do whatever you want with it, actually. And, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked this short little tutorial. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. Maybe favorite if you want more people to see it. And if you really, really liked it, uh, consider subscribing. I put out new tutorials every Saturday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.